Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com and today I have a memory planning process video for you. I am working on the week of April 4th through the 10th. I am planning on using this gorgeous new collection from Simple Stories created by the one and only Kelly Bangs. I'm so excited um, that this order came in. I ordered this collection and it is gorgeous. So I'm going to use this I have a ton of pictures and um, we'll just see how it goes. I also have a lot of the other little accessories and stuff. So I will link everything that I end up using down below. Otherwise I'll put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. This was a week that was super easy to choose my supplies because I just received this order with uh, the Kelly Bangs release, uh, Let's Get Crafty, and knew that it was gonna be one of the first things I used. So I'm actually taking the six by eight paper and cutting it in half as if it's two different Calyx cubes. And I'm gonna create a little craft room scene. And that's gonna be the backdrop for what I plan for my week or what I'm doing for my memory keeping. And I like the idea just because I spend so much time in my craft room. This is my office, this is my job. And so it kind of serves as the backdrop for a lot of my life. And there's lots of events in my family's life that happen outside the craft room. Um, but the craft room is something that I definitely go to um, on almost a daily basis. Sometimes on the weekend it gets ignored because there's other things going on, but it kind of is the backdrop. So I thought it'd be fun to create a backdrop. Something I'm doing, this is a new set to me. So I have a ton of ephemera pieces. And so I just went through them all quickly and tried to pick a few that I thought I might want to incorporate. Um, I'll be completely honest. I'm like having a little hard time using these pieces just because I love them so much and I can think of all kinds of different projects that I want to use them for. And so I'm a little bit in the hoarding stage and I'm hopefully I'm not the only one that this happens to. I'm pretty good at not hoarding my supplies. Like I use I use the supplies, but when I first get it, I don't want to use all the good all the good ones right away. Like I want to enjoy them just a bit. So I have a few here. I have my two Calyx cubes. I love this little framed piece that says such a crafty life. And then I thought the binder that says faves was just absolutely perfect because I could just list out some of the favorite events for the week. This is washi tape that actually goes along with the set. It is rainbow, which means I love it. I am all about the rainbows so that is going to go here as the floor for this particular craft room how fun would it be to have a rainbow floor you guys that would be so fun in a craft room i would be all over that so getting that set and then i'm going to start placing my pictures just to see how everything is going to end up fitting it turned out that I printed out a lot more than I had room for. So I decided to just pick a few that kind of captured the highlights of the week. My boys have been saving up their allowance for some large Lego sets and they had finally reached their goal and then had worked really hard to build the Lego set. So I had pictures of them. It was opening day for Little League Baseball around here. So we have pictures of them doing that. My girl at school doing her thing with some classmates for a big project that they were working on picture of hanging out with neighbors and lunch with my daughter, just all kinds of fun events for the week. And the other ones I'll just save and use for a different project of some sort. Okay, once I'm pretty sure where those are going to be, I figure I should probably start just putting things down on paper. So of course I start with the biggest pieces first and then I'll kind of build from there. So you gotta get the Calyx cube down and I definitely want this faves to kind of take precedence. And then I will get the pictures down. Now the pictures don't quite meet up. I do print my pictures um, in size two by three and that isn't quite what size these boxes are, these vertical boxes. That one will be a little wonky, but that's okay because I'm gonna use some washi tape here in a second to kind of cover up some of the spaces that I don't like where pictures don't meet up the same. It's kind of kind of funky. All right, got my little setup over there. Now on this side, I'll do the same thing. And this is where you're going to see, I wanted it not right up at the top, but these two pictures for some reason are slightly different sizes. And I don't know why, but that's okay. It, it'll get fixed. You can't worry about all those imperfections when you're creating or else it can be just 
paralyzing. And I say it all the time. It's one of the things I love about memory planning is I just feel like there's no rules. Like there's no rules. Like sometimes you feel like you run into with 12 by 12 scrapbooking just because memory planning maybe hasn't been around for as long. And so there's less examples. So you kind of feel like, or at least I feel like I can kind of do whatever I want. So that's, that's where I'm coming from here. All right. I'm looking to see, I love this particular label up oh, washi tape. So see washi tape, it covers a multitude of imperfections. I will take it anytime. This again is another set that comes um, or that coordinates with the kit. It's part of the let's get crafty line. So I'm going to add it in a few different spots. I'm trying to keep an odd number of spots because that's how I roll. So five different places where that black and white washi comes in. And now I'm going to see where I can add a little bit more. We're going to shift this over, but then there's a weird little line that sticks out. So we'll just use a floral. When in doubt, add a little bit of floral. I think that that works just fine. Such a crafty girl. That works out really well. I made these shirts for my daughter's um, team up project, I guess. They were doing a big fifth grade project and it was about saving animals. So I made them all matching shirts that said, I'm I am made to save animals. So it was really cute for them to have for their presentation. All right, getting my little ephemera on. And then I'm going to add this piece. It says create. It'll be a perfect little journaling spot. I kind of wrestle on where I want it to go, whether I want it to go down low or high. I decided to go higher just because I didn't want it to cover up the calyx cube. Very carefully peeling it up because I was like, maybe I should move it over. Nope, we'll just stick it right back down where it was. Now I had a couple other ephemera pieces pulled out that I thought I might want to use, but Let's see if I can find a place for them. This one is super cute because it says file under cute. That'll be a great with the pictures of my kiddos. So we're going to put that over to the side. And then I think we're pretty good. I'm going to check out the sticker book though. So I love, love, love the sticker book. I think this ampersand is um, going to work out well between the boys right here just to kind of soften that edge. And then there's a few other stickers that I can add here and there. They're just, they're so adorable. I love phrase stickers. So let's go with this one up here. It says make time to make stuff. And that was a good reminder to me. I didn't really have time to make shirts for my daughter's team, but did I? Yes. Yes, I did because it was important to her. Crafting before adulting always. And then love what you make was perfect with my boys and their Lego sets. Okay. So one of the last steps is going to be to add in the journaling line. So I just grab my T ruler. We will add those lines in. I'm actually using a gray pen just because I thought it was a softer look for this particular spread. So adding in journaling lines where I can, there's not a ton of room on this one, but that's okay. Still plenty of room to write out what I'm intending to add what stories and thoughts I want to add to this spread. So I'll add those in. And then once I do that, I have a few little spaces that I can fill in with ephemera. Um, so I will finish that up and do the journaling off camera. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link all of the supplies, including this amazing line from Kelly Bangs. I'll link it in the description box below. Please be sure to check it out. Those are affiliate links. It does help me a lot when you're able to order from those. So thank you in advance. All right. I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. You guys make it possible for me to put out all the content I can on YouTube. Thank you so much. I hope that you all have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative.